Disclaimer, if the visual aspects of these videos are not ideal, I'm sorry, but I am blind and I can't look in the viewfinder and I don't know what the picture looks like, so what you get is just what you get. I'll get better at saying that, but right now I'm just trying to say it at as many videos as I can remember to say it on. <laughs> Good morning. It is eight something in the morning. Usually, it, under most case, under most circumstances, the only time I'd be getting up this early would be because I had to go to work. But eight thirty-five a.m. and forty-four seconds. Yeah, eight thirty-five. Today I have an errand to run. That when I called the person that's picking me up. Because, first of all, he's the one who even knows where he's going. I don't even know where this place is. Um, but I called and said, Do you know where even one of these is? And he said he did, and, and uh, you know, he could... He could take me there. Well, he said, okay, how about 9 o'clock? I'm like, okay, just because I wanted to do this and get it done and get it over with. And I bought these SD cards, and I specifically bought them to get to, to use in this particular machine. And I'd already bought them from a grocery store, or I'd bought a couple from a, or I'd bought one from a grocery store, and I had to take it back because it wouldn't work in the machine that I used, or that I wanted to use. Well, I specifically bought it from this location, and I got them, and they were doing the same thing. And after a lot of uh, doing, talking to a computer company and having them try to help me, but it wasn't, ugh, I'm just, I'm thinking that, uh, ugh, gosh, I'm starting to think that using these particular kinds of SD cards in this particular kind of machine is just destined not to happen, but there's one more thing I'm going to try first. I'm going to send them back to the company that I got them from and say, format these things the right way, the way that apparently they must be formatted. Um, I mean, I've already had the conversation with the computer company. They said, or the, the company that I got this thing for, these things from, they said they'd do it. So now I've got to take them to the post office and send them off because I, they said if I sent them through FedEx, it would cost more money than if I would sent them through the post office. Well, I've already spent enough money on this thing, on these things, and I mean... Either it's going to work this way or I'm going to have to find another machine to use these in, which, when I think about it, that's not that hard. It's just annoying that this is why I bought them. And they're not wanting to work, especially when I already got one to work. And then I get these others, and they won't. What's the difference between the three, or the two or the three? What's the difference between the one that worked and the two that won't? Well, I know I got, oh, brother. I just checked my email, and there was nothing I really wanted to read. Anyway, he's going to be here any minute. I'm not, I'm probably not going to live vlog or I'm probably not going to, I'm, I'm not going to vlog during the errand, more than likely. Um, if I talk about this, I might come back and talk about it, but. The people that sold, sold me the SD cards were saying yesterday, well, 
even when we do format them, we will format them the way they're supposed to be formatted, but even then they might not work with this particular machine. To that I say, number one, I won't know unless I try. Number two, if that's the case, why did you send them to me? Because I told you that's what I wanted to use them for. You know, although I'm not sure stubborn me would have listened to you anyway, even if you said, they might not work because I was going on the frame of mind of, well, I got one from you and it works fine, so why shouldn't the other one? But, it's just annoying that everything won't work. It, Well, I just won't be, like I said, I'm going to at least try to, I'm going to have these formatted the way they're apparently mandated to format if anything's even going to see them. And then if that doesn't even work, then I'll just have to use them in a different machine. But how annoying. Okay, it is quarter to ten, and this, it's 9.45, and we just got that little errand done. This is just dying to get me back. Well, they're not going to do it, because, number one, I just am not sure that that's the best use of my money, but secondly, and more to the point, I don't know if the website has changed or what, but I am having, I, I, with my program that reads out loud what's on the screen, it's just not user friendly. It used to be, but now it doesn't seem to be, or at least last time I, last time I went there it wasn't. I want to give a shout out, you can't hear it, but I've got earphones running, and in those earphones I've got the uh, American Council of the Blind Convention. I've been streaming this all week, um, because I'm not there. I am hoping to be able to, I... I hope these vlogs, I've said this before, I hope these vlogs aren't too boring for you. Um, I am hoping to be able to vlog from the convention next year. And hopefully that won't be... <laughs> as boring. Um, but anyway, I want to shout out to the ACB. Um, I wish I could have been at the convention, but I tried to apply for the first time... Time, first timers scholarship and the more time passed without me getting an interview phone call the more clear it was that I wasn't going to get it so I just accepted that and accepted the fact that for financial reasons you know I couldn't have afforded it without the scholarship and I obviously wasn't going to get it so I didn't make it this year so if I can get it together in terms of saving money, I'll be there next year. I, um, but, um, ACB Radio, which is the internet, basically the, the, the web, the web radio, um, station bank, I guess, is broadcasting what I'm missing, basically, so at least I can hear it. And that's awesome. Um, 
I'm going to do a separate video one of these days about one thing in particular. Um, there's two organizations, the ACB, American Council of the Blind, and the NFB, National Federation of the Blind. I am more involved in the council than the federation these days. I really... I was in the Federation. I'm not going to talk at length about that, but um, well, yeah. This isn't the time to talk about that. I don't know if or when the right time is to talk about that. But I'm involved in the Council, such as I'm involved in either of them right now. Um, but there's one thing that the Federation, the other organization, did, and although I haven't read everything there was to read about it, Hearing about what they did just makes me say, what in the world are you guys talking about? And I'm going to do a separate video on that because that's just crazy if you ask me. But the point is, I want to thank ACB and ACB Radio for streaming the convention. I'm not there and listening to it is just not the same as being there, but it beats the pants off of not being able to listen to it and not having any idea of what's going on until weeks later when the thing comes up on the Internet. Well, maybe it's not that long, but it's nice to be able to at least virtually be there by being able to stream it, and I look forward to actually being able to attend. Well, I'm not sure I trust this scale that I have. If I go based on what it was saying, it... I mean, it's talking like I lost like three... What? Three and some pounds in a week. Now, that would be great, but is that... I mean, at least I'm losing as opposed to gaining. But are we sure I lost that much? <laughs> I don't know if I trust this. Now I'm going to the gym and that's really about the biggest thing I've got going on today as far as I know. <laughs> Well, it's hours later, and I'm going to be watching Big Brother here as soon as it comes on in about... What time is it? 
Just over 45 minutes. So we got Bronte. Um, Victor. I believe it's Victor. And Tiffany on the block. This week, I'm not necessarily... I mean, this week it's kind of, well, whoever goes, goes. You know, I'm not like really hoping for one person to go or praying that the other person doesn't go. I'm just kind of, whatever happens, happens. So we'll see what happens. I will say this, it's crazy that Victor won the uh, roadkill competition and then found himself up on the block. It's like, uh, if anyone ever thought the roadkill guy was safe, this proves that he wasn't. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I bet he never thought when he won roadkill that he would turn around and be evicted the next, like, three week, three days later. Three weeks later, maybe. Three days later. <laughs> Are we going to be able to find out... What time is it? 9.41. I wonder if we're going to be able to find out before the end of this, who's HOH. It seems to be, um, you know, sometimes we find out who's HOH by the end of the episode, sometimes we don't. It all depends on how long that head of household competition runs. Personally, I don't like the ones where I gotta wait around and wait around and wait around. Because, well, I mean, what happens, I mean, we all understand it. It's like, it started at 8.45. It's no doubt going to last for three hours. It's just that kind of competition. And we don't have time to, you know, we can't, no live show has the time to last that long. So we don't find out until Sunday who won HOH or if I go to Big Brother Leak. And, you know, I can find out that way, but I kind of like the ones where we can find out by the end of the episode who gets it. It's just kind of hit or miss, though, from week to week, whether or not uh, it can happen that way. But, wow, here I thought, <laughs> I thought... Since Victor won the roadkill, he'd be safe, but wow, I was wrong. <laughs> so the Kiss My Ace competition, <laughs> I like the name. It was over by the end of the episode. Bridget is head of household. I don't know what she's going to do. Um, of course, we never know what any of them are going to do, but I don't know what she's going to do. Dang. <laughs> I, this actually was on the news earlier today, too, but now it's coming back on, and I'm, I'm, it doesn't grab me quite like the church story did last week, but, <sighs> you know, you hear your classic kids going for a joy ride in a stolen car, but a stolen bus? Yeah. Apparently, that's what these kids did. Right now, I'm watching commercials waiting for that story to come back, to come on, but... I mean, I guess what strikes me is a huge bus. I mean, you got to have not only a driver's license to drive a bus, you got to have, like, a big... A, a, you gotta have a special license to drive a big bus. Remember, <laughs> these kids, I don't know if... I guess there were these two kids. I don't know if either one of them had even a driver's license. But you know that none of them, neither one of them had a commercial driver's license. Or a bus driver's license. Or whatever you call that thing that you have to get before you can get behind the wheel of a big old bus. Okay, I guess... Yeah, I've seen this story before. Technically, you're not supposed to do that. Go into the, wade into the fountain, but 
no one really enforces that rule, although I'm one of these people that if you're not supposed to do it, I just don't do it. Um, apparently, these kids were wearing, first of all, it was a 15-year-old. I don't know how old the other one was, but the one behind the wheel was a 15-year-old. That, that one didn't even have a driver's license. You can't get a 15, you can't get a driver's license if you're 15. Isn't it 16? And as far as the, I guess they had some kind of trimet, some kind of, I'll just say a trimet, uniforms on. Um, <laughs> what they do, steal those or make fake trimet? I don't know what they did, but obviously they're facing charges and they should. <laughs> Well, I think that's probably going to be the end of this vlog. I don't know what is, I don't know what's left to happen tonight. I'll see you for the next video, whether it's a vlog or whatever it is. <laughs> um, if you're actually liking what you're seeing, I hope you'll like and subscribe. I hope these aren't too boring or lame or, you know, whatever. <laughs> um, I'll see you for the next video. Bye.